I thought we should start this video out, after all, showing you what I love to do. This is a soup that I've made, and it is bubbling away. You should be able to hear it in the Everyday Slow Cooker by the Pampered Chef, and it is nestled in the new Pampered Chef Slow Cooker. So this is the Everyday Casserole, and this is what we will be having for lunch today, and just a nice soup. It's a rainy day here in Iowa, but put this lid back on. We're just gonna kind of walk around here a little bit. My name is Carlotta, and I am an upper level director with The Pampered Chef, and I have been with Pampered Chef for 26 years. But I wanted to kind of give you a little glimpse of what I'm all about and how I began with The Pampered Chef. I grew up in a small town in Thurmont, Maryland, and I was the youngest of five. My mom was quite the entrepreneur. She started a little turkey farm in the 40s, which now my nephew and his wife now own. And um, it's progressed over the year down through the families. And I enjoyed growing up. Never did I ever dream that I would be a pampered chef kitchen consultant or that I would become the chef slash cook that I have become. All I really wanted to do was ever ride horses. When I was five years old, I was presented with my first horse and his name was Tony. And all I wanted to do was ride Tony. And all I wanted to do when I grew up was simply just to be working with horses. I used to like to jump horses. I used to um, show a little bit. I just enjoyed horses. I wanted to be a riding instructor. That's all I really wanted to be when I grew up. And I, I literally lived, breathed, and ate horses, so to speak. Um, when I was 19, however, things took a little turn, and I moved to California. And we uh, met, I met my husband. I actually worked for the Wall Street Journal when I moved out there. I actually lived with my sister for a while and then got an apartment. She had eight kids, got a little crowded. So um, I went to a small business school and eventually, as I said, ended up at the Wall Street Journal in sales. And that's where I stayed for about 10 years. Met my husband and we eventually got married in 1972. Uh, we were then transferred Again, I'm thinking to myself, I mean, by then I, by then I knew I was a pretty good cook. My sister certainly helped me a lot with that, and I really enjoyed it. But again, never dreamed what the future had in store for me. Well, none of us really know what the future has in store for us. So eventually, my husband and I were transferred to Salt Lake City, uh, Las Vegas, back to California, and then to Iowa. Uh, we had, when we, when we got here, we joined a church that we really liked, and we were actually offered another transfer, and we wanted to stay here in Iowa. We found our home, and of course it's rural here, and I also knew that I could probably start riding again on occasion. So uh, we ended up buying a couple of the pizza restaurants that we ended up coming here with, but eventually we were not able to keep them. So I went to work in various places. Eventually I ended up at Sears and I ended up uh, actually working in the sporting goods department, which I always thought was kind of comical. Uh, I was in the break room one day and I read an article about this pampered chef business. And uh, the article was about a mentor of mine and uh, who became a huge influence in my pampered chef life. And she lived in Minnesota. And eventually I went into the national conference without being signed up. And I met my recruiter, Sue. And I met another, met, made many new friends when I went in. Now I want you to understand it was $100 to start the business and we had lost our businesses here. So I had to borrow the $100 to start my Pampered Chef business. And that's how I began. 
So I came back to Cedar Rapids after the two-day conference, had a very good friend actually in Chicago who drove me back and forth because I was terrified of the Chicago traffic. <laughs> and um, came back, the products arrived within two to three days. And by the way, you can still tar start your Pampered Chef business for $100. In fact, you can even start it for less than that. So it's not much has changed along that line and actually you get more products for your $100. So I did my first show and I didn't get any bookings. I came home and cried. In fact, at my first show, and I always love to tell this story, she had so many people at this show and she asked me to make cut and seal sandwiches. Now, if you don't know what a cut and seal is, it's a little round disc that you can push down and you can make circles out of bread. So when I walked into her house, oh, by the way, did I mention that the brakes went out on my car in her driveway? So by then I'm already a little nervous. For those of you that know me, I can, I can get a little jumpy sometimes. So then I go into her house and she says, can you make the sandwiches? I had to make like 40 of them. Now, in this house was about, I would say, maybe 15 people. 14 of them smoked in the house. Now, this is back in 1991 when people smoked in their houses. So I guess the good thing is, through the haze of smoke, they couldn't see how bad my hands were shaking at my first show. And I didn't get any bookings at all. Uh, the Pampered Chef actually started in 1980 by Doris Christopher. And Doris started her shows out the same way all of us do. We ask people to have host shows for us, which is what I did. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. So I then went out and did my second show, no bookings. Did my third show and no bookings. And I was getting very discouraged. And I remember my daughter, you know, saying to me on that third show when I came home because I sat here and cried and because um, I knew the hundred dollars I'd borrowed and I, I knew we needed to make money and we needed to make money quickly and so she came out and she just kind of gave me a little pep talk so I went and did my fourth show and I got five bookings so at that point I think I had started to relax a little bit and you have to understand that I mean that back then there there were no there weren't any videos my recruiter was in Minneapolis. No one knew here, hardly knew anything about the Pampered Chef, so I was pretty much on my own. Uh, I have enjoyed a very nice career with the Pampered Chef. Um, along the way, I've been um, treated to many trips that I've earned. Not treated, I earned them. The Pampered Chef always helps us with trips, um, always for two and they've been very, very nice trips. I enjoy them very much. I try to earn them every year. I can't say that I earned one every year because I didn't. Um, I do have a family, family life. And speaking of my family, uh, I have a 42-year-old, a 41-year-old, a 17-year-old grandchild, eight-year-old grandchild, and six-year-old grandchild. Because of my career, um, I am able to, I have been able to spend a lot of time with them because fortunately, they do live around here. Well, now let's talk about my cooking. Um, seriously, I do not make this up. When I went back for a reunion two years ago, back to Maryland, they all looked at me and said, I can't believe you even know how to cook. They reminded me of the time I put a pizza in the oven with the plastic wrap on it. So when I was a teenager, I don't remember that, but they swear I did that. I love to cook and that is why we have a YouTube channel now. Because I thought I wanted to share not only um, my Pampered Chef career, uh, which is very important to me and I will continue to do my Pampered Chef, but also um, I wanna be able to share some other insights, cooking tips, that, that type of thing. And um, I would welcome any um, information or if somebody wants me to post something on my YouTube, be sure to let me know. Um, I can do all types of cooking for you. I love to do Oriental. And um, this weekend, I am going to do a 4th of July cake and we will post it on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. And I also will do, be doing some training on here as well. 
And I welcome anyone who would like to join me on my pam- with my Pampered Chef. You can actually be a Pampered Chef consultant anywhere in the country. Now we now do live and virtual shows. So when I started, it was strictly pretty much just live shows, which that's my favorite. I'd love to come into your home. I love to show you our Pampered Chef products. I have people that come up to me here in Iowa and say, we've enjoyed your shows. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and your products with us. And now our times in the kitchen go quicker. So many people, you know, they're having to work full time. They're working full time, which I work Pampered Chef full time and not a lot of time when they get home. So you do need good kitchen tools that are going to last, that are going to get you in and out of the kitchen. So I always, I want to thank Doris Christopher, who started this company in 1980. Um, I want to thank my recruiter, Sue, for being such a tremendous mentor to me over the years. I will tell you the, I do need to tell you the first consultant I met, well, there was two of them, but the first one I met was this little gal named Marie Freidag, and she was at this conference, the first conference that I went to, and I can still see her on the elevator, and she was so nice to me, and, oh, when did you start? And I just said, well, I just started maybe uh, 20 minutes ago, and we were at the conference, so um, later on, she came out on the stage and received many awards, and through the years, she has, so thank you, Marie. Uh, Thank you, Doris, and thank you, Sue, for being such huge mentors in my life. I have many more, I could say. But I want you to just get a little glimpse of of Carlotta, and I hope that you're going to enjoy our YouTube channel over the years. And I just wanted to let you know that um, I am available if anybody wants to chat with me about anything. And... That soup's right over there. You see it over there? It's just bubbling away. In fact, it's done now. So my husband will be home soon. It'll be time for to feed him lunch. And hope to uh, hope that you enjoyed this and you got a little glimpse of Carlotta. And um, enjoy the day.